All right, guys, we got a video for you today. We're gonna to be doing a, an OTDR testing. We got it all set up here. I'm gonna test this whole cabinet, one to 288. Verify that all of our upturners we've ran are all good to go and ready for customers to be connected. So yeah, we get you guys tossed on the tripod and we're gonna test this network. All right. So we've already got a few of the ports tested here. We're on the third, going to the fourth. Uh, these are super short runs, these opternas. The longest one's 500 feet, about 180 meters, 170 meters, somewhere around there. So we have a thousand meter launch box. So we have our distance that we want our OTDR reading on 1.4 kilometers, 1400 meters. So we can get our thousand meters of launch box, boom, then our first connector. We zoom in here, here's our actual fiber. We'll move it up so you guys can see a bit. There's our first connector, which is right here, right? And then obviously this is running through these opternas out, up through the cabling, up to the next floor. 16 floors total in this building. But as you can see, this is our actual fiber line from here out, up to our opterna. So that's all we're really paying attention to is our connector make sure we're not having any losses within these factory built uh, pre-terminated opturnus. So we'll go ahead and zoom back out, get ourselves plugged into the next port here. We already saved that one. We just go ahead and hit start. We're running five second tests, 100 nanoseconds. Now only one wavelength as well, 1550. This is just customer requirements. These, uh, these parameters will change uh, with each different client we have. But as far as this client, that's what they want to see. So right here, we got a connector, a little bit of reflectance, very small amount, and then a connector loss, as you can see. It's a DOF 5.8, which is uh, it's a little bit high for what we want to see, what's passable. But at the same time, there's not a whole lot we can do other than clean it, try to get it down. If it doesn't change, then that's just connector loss from factory. So um, we'll give that a clean and then uh, we'll try shooting it again. All right, we went ahead and gave it a clean. We're still having that same connector loss. So we'll just have to add a comment in there stating that we've cleaned and retested multiple times and uh, there's no change in the connector loss. So that'll either have to be looked into from manufacturer or uh, accounted for within the loss budget. But anyways, we'll go ahead and throw that comment in right quick. Get this set up. Quick save there, and we're on to the next one, guys. So just keep chugging along. These are only five second tests, so we will be flying through this cabinet here. You can go ahead and do the math on it. Maybe it's five second test, six, seven seconds total running time. Um, yeah, we can fly through this cabinet pretty quick. So go ahead and check that out. We're doing 179 meters, pretty straightforward. Let's uh, quick save that one and on to the next. Yeah, as far as the testing goes, you guys, like, it'll all depend on whose network you work for. Oh, look at this, and we got a little reflectance there. I'll zoom in for you guys. Get this. Whoop. Oops, it is the way that. Got a little reflectance there. That's nothing major, it's still within parameters, but yeah, it's just a little bit of, a little piece of dirt, most likely, within the connector. We can go ahead and give it a clean. Grab your cleat top out, right? Angled connectors, always angled down. Well, five or six, we're going to seven. Let's give it a, see if that cleared up any of our reflectance right quick. Yeah, reflectance is gone on this one. So bada bing, bada boom, just need a little cleaning, a little bit of dust in there. That's another good one. On to the next. Now I've been, I've been doing this a long time. So it's a lot easier for me to, ooh, see, look at that refiner. That's a dirty port if I ever seen one. Look at that 1.0 dB with a negative 52 on reflectance. We got some losses there. But anyways, let's give that a cleaning right quick and see if we can get it to change up. 
Sometimes it'd be literally right on the end. You see specks of dirt. That was fiber eight. Get rid of clean in. New, don't save those. Might have to get a little uh, Q-tip out here. Yeah, we're gonna have to get the Q-tip out here. One sec. All right, we got our little Q-tip here, our, our trusty dusty. Go ahead and get that in the port. Give it a couple of spins. Try clean that up. Also cleat off it again. That should uh that should remove that uh fairly big loss in reflectance. No, don't save. Ah oh, yeah, no, it's definitely not removing. So that's a that's a damaged connector. It did come down a little bit. But as far as we can see, we got some some damaged connector from the uh actual factory so we're gonna have to throw the comment in there so that customer knows that that connector most likely will have to be replaced now these smaller cabinets are actually hand built put together see look on the next result we have zero reflectance baby loss there nothing major so that uh that really proves our point on that last one there which it's not a big deal. You can get quick connects, pop in there, pop the back of the cabinet open, replace that connector and get the shot looking great. Um, what do we got here? We are on nine, we just completed. Go ahead and move to the next one. Quick save that and start. Yeah, today I just wanna do a quick video showing you guys what I'm doing here, how I'm testing this cabinet. Maybe run into a few issues, little tips and tricks for you guys out there that are just learning testing. I know it can be very overwhelming at the start. I remember when I started 10 years ago, that's how I started. I didn't start as a splicer. I started as a tester. And it can get hectic when you literally come into this field not knowing anything, because there's very little information or schooling or even people on YouTube like myself actually explaining these networks. That was the whole reason I started this channel because I just seen the, the major gap that we were having in the market. All right, a little big loss, nothing major. We can zoom in, check it out. Looks good. Pop that back with light identification. Throw that in there, quick save. And we're on to the next, you guys. Literally on to the next. Now we can. I like to pull 12 of these caps out at a time, one ribbon at a time, and just follow in behind as I'm testing, pulling the next grouping out so that uh, we're not having a bunch of ports wide open. I mean, it's a little bit different when we're in, inside a building, having a cabinet that's indoors. This is more of a technique for those outdoor cabinets, got dust blowing around and what have you. Uh, we're gonna throw a little comment on that one. Quick save, and that was 12, so we're on to the next. There we go. Easy peasy. And yeah, we'll just keep moving forward on this. I mean, it's not the most exciting video and that's that's fiber optic testing for you. A lot of a lot of repeat, uh, repeating the same thing over over and over. Getting the same result. So just keep pumping at it. Quick save. That was 14. Yeah, like you gotta get into a little rhythm here too. Like as soon as it's hitting one second, you see the screen changing, you can be switching ports. So you can start moving real quick with it. Like so. We got a little, little baby identification loss there. On to the next, maybe. 
keep falling in behind. see it drops right off right at connector so that is exactly what we're seeing there clean on to the next we'll be on 17 there switch ports yeah One of the old joys of testing you guys uh, definitely one of those jobs you need to throw a movie on or throw some music on and uh, sit back and just pump away at it because it's not the most exciting part of the fiber optic uh, industry I'll tell you that but it's definitely a very needed part and knowing your stuff about testing will really help you in the field for splicing troubleshooting all that problem solving like you should honestly learn how to test before doing anything else within fiber optics it'll help you so much more exceeding when you jump into other parts of it uh, do, do, do. like this boom 19 yeah we'll just keep pumping away here I mean, if we run into something, I'll stop explaining what we're seeing, but for the most part, we'll probably do another 12 fibers here and we'll call it on this video because all these are literally going to test out the same. There's no splicing involved with these, and they're all plug and play straight from factories. So, I mean, the most we're, we're going to see is a, either damaged cable or connector loss. And, that's all we're going to be basically running into here, you guys. So we'll keep chugging at this and it whipped up. And uh, maybe after this row here, I'll, I'll stop the video there. And then after I get through all of these, and if I find anything on the way, I'll, I'll throw that clip in here and explain the breakdown of it all. But yeah, I just want to throw this video together for you guys right quick. Drop a little knowledge and... Uh, Hope you guys enjoy it you know let you guys have the opportunity to throw some comments down in the comment section asking questions you may have on this stuff and obviously this is an older otdr but it still functions great oh okay that's uh that's a, that's a good point right here we just ran into as you can see we clearly have a major connection issue so First thing first when troubleshooting something like this is we're going to clean the port because most likely it's dirt. So as simple as that, we'll go ahead and give the port a cleaning, pop our connector out. This is fiber 22. Give that a nice clean. Clean top, give our connector a cleaning. Let me go ahead and plug this back in and see what we get now. Don't save that, obviously. Let's see if we cleaned up or not. Wow, see? That's what one small little piece of dirt can do to a trace, okay? It can make it look that there's something majorly wrong with that actual fiber. But for the most part, it's always a little piece of dirt in the connector. Unless you see this lo a loss like that way out in this trace, then you got bigger issues. But as far as uh, testing brand new cabinets and all brand new equipment, that's that's the biggest thing you'll run into is dirty ports. Just from um, when they were built and shipping and whatnot, these things aren't airtight seals, so you can get dirt and dust in there. But yeah, clean that one up beautifully so we can go ahead let them know there's a little bit of connector loss on it. And we can continue on, you guys. So we got two left in these last two ribbons. 
as you can see, that's 24 fibers we just finished testing there. And I'm not sure if any of you guys out there are your own contractor. Let me know in the comments there if you are. I've been doing this for myself for about 10 years now. So um, the whole testing game, yeah, I call that the uh, printing money game. Because this is literally printing cash every test result. I'm not going to say how much I'm making, but it's it's good. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. That's another good result. We're on to the third ribbon, 5 or 25. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep plugging away at this, you guys. Um, we'll stop this this portion of the video right here and we'll jump into the to the next clip maybe it'll be another bad one that i find piece of dirt and i'll show you guys how i get that one cleaned up as well or maybe it'll be at the end and a uh, quick little rebuttal on the whole uh the whole cabinet and testing i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one and uh we'll see you in the next clip all right guys well we got through that whole cabinet just shut the otdr down unplugged our uh our launch box and yeah we go through the whole cabinet there the most we ran into was just some simple connector losses a little bit of dirt in there so quick clean the majority of them come back nice if not we threw our comment in there but yeah that's going to do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed throw your comments and questions down in the comment section smash that like button and if you all want to do me a favor hit that subscribe button i really really appreciate it all right until the next one you guys Thanks for watching.